So in this video, we're going to look at the addition method for a base conversion. This method allows you to do your arithmetic in the destination base. So it's nice when converting from, say, binary to decimal or base 5 to decimal. Anything where your destination base is something that you know how to do arithmetic in. So chances are that's usually going to be in decimal. But by the end, you should be able to also do that in binary. And the way this works is pretty straightforward. We're just going to convert our source digits to exponents in the destination base and then add all those results up. So if I start with a binary number, and I'd like to know what this number is in decimal. So in this case, I know that this is 1, 4, 16, 64, so I could just add all of those up. If you're not quite so familiar with the exponents of base 2, you're probably going to want to write some of this out and then do the addition. So I know that this is 1 times 2 to the 0, or just plain 1. This would be 2 to the 1st, or 2. This is 2 squared, which is 4, so I have 1 times 2 squared, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, and then 2 to the 6th. So in this case, all I have are coefficients of 1. So it's binary, all I'm going to have are 1's and zeros anyway. This makes this really nice because now all I really care about are these exponents here. So 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the 4th is 16, and then 2 to the 6th is 64. So I can just add all these up. 64 plus 16 will give me 80. 84, 85. So that's the basic idea of how the addition method works. We're just converting these, finding their exponents, and adding all of that up. It works reasonably well for bases where you know the exponents. Things like binary you'll probably get used to working with, so it can be relatively easy to convert small numbers. If you start having larger numbers, if you start having larger numbers, you may not want to use this method. If you have a base that you don't know the exponents for, or that has rather large exponents, you also might not want to use this method. Another example we could try there's another binary number. And to convert this to decimal, I'm going to find all of these exponents that I'm interested in and just add them up. So I have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2, to the 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, and 2 to the 6th. So this is 1, 2, 8, 32, and 64 again. It gives me 96, 104, 106, 107. So again, it's the same idea. We can do this with pretty much any base. This method just really lends itself towards binary because you'll end up being used to the exponents of binary.